Hi everyone um, and welcome to another short video session. It's uh, almost midnight on Halloween, but I decided to, to record another video, uh, especially because I like that use case so much. The use case involves Microsoft Defender ATP and I would like to show you how uh, what we can do to extend the detection coverage of Microsoft Defender ATP with live forensic scans. Um, to do that, I've created a, a special campaign called Selective Investigations, and you could even use in, this, in these campaigns, you can use the global IOCs that you define in the IOC management or define custom IOCs for that specific campaign. IOCs that you get from your P-search, from uh, your industry search, um, um, or maybe some government bodies, uh, they, they share sometimes threat information and IOCs. You can you, um, set them here, hash IOCs, keyword IOCs, C2 IOCs, Yara rules and Sigma rules. And then um, for this special use case, you wouldn't download the, uh, the executable, but the PowerShell script, because the PowerShell script is then something that we can use in Microsoft Defender in the uh, light response script library. So to do that, we switch over to Microsoft Defender. And um, in Microsoft Defender, we select a device that we want to investigate uh, and initiate a live response session. Uh, and in that live response session, um, we wait for the upload button here in the upper right corner. There's a upload to library button. Here we, I select the PowerShell launcher and give it give it the name Tor Cloud Light Launcher. Override existing files if they're already there. Confirm and then wait for the script upload confirmation, the successfully uploaded script file. Then I can check I can check if the script has been uploaded. Yes, it has run a Thor launcher ps1 and then the script starts in the background there is no script runtime limitation in microsoft defender i think it's 15 minutes or they have extended it to 13 minutes a while ago but it's still not enough for what we sometimes want to do quick scans can run 20 minutes but full scans of a system typically run between 40 minutes and two hours something like that so this would be too long for that for that script runtime, but um, since the Thor launcher PowerShell script downloads Thor in the background and this runs as a as a sub process, it would run as a as a headless sub process. It would still keep running as a headless sub process in the background, and um, and we would still get results in in our cloud platform, and that's what we are going to check. And when we switch over to Thor Cloud, we we see the running scan and can check its progress. So, and when the scan is finished, we would then review the HTML report and see if there are any findings. So, we what we did is we extended the EDR coverage of Microsoft Defender with a deep forensic scan performed by Thor uh, with custom signatures and rules. So I think it's a quite cool use case and you can make of use of it quite often. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you the next time. Bye bye.